I'm going to be training with professional skier Sophia Schwartz. That's her. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can see, we're no longer in sunny California. We are in Colorado. I'm gonna be training like a professional skier. I've never skied before. This is gonna be interesting. We're gonna be traveling on a Greyhound bus from Denver to Steamboat Springs, where a ton of Olympic athletes train every year. Greyhound is the largest inner city bus provider in North America, with over 3,800 destinations and over 18 million travelers every year. As someone who has to drive around Los Angeles a ton, I'm constantly frustrated that my hands have to be glued to a steering wheel and I can't be working while I'm driving. I'm really excited on today's trip that every single seat has a power outlet, free Wi-Fi, and extra legroom. Not to mention leather seats. Also, you guys know I love being environmentally friendly, and to my surprise, riding on a Greyhound bus is the most eco-friendly way of travel. One Greyhound bus can take up to 50 cars off the road and has a fuel efficiency of 184 passenger miles per gallon. Nuts! This week, I have the absolute honor of training with national champion, Sophia Schwartz. She's a freestyle and big mountain skier, and she was first Olympic alternate for the 2014 Sochi Winter Games. She's pretty legit. I'm not the best with heights. I love roller coasters, but roller coasters have seat belts. Skis don't. We made it and it's so pretty here. I can't wait to ski. It's gonna be sweet. Should we go to the mountain, check it out? I started skiing when I was two years old. On the US mogul team, I skied World Cup, the highest level of international competition. Michelle is a beginning skier. She's never been on the slopes before, so it's gonna be really fun to introduce her to the sport of skiing. Our goal for this week is to get Michelle to ski a black diamond. A black diamond is sort of the iconic hard runs on the mountain. I think it'll be a challenge, but I know Michelle will be up for anything. So the easiest run, which we'll start on, are the green circles. Next up, you'll see up here are the blue runs. And the blue squares are a little bit steeper. Sometimes they have a few bumps or kind of more difficult terrain with them. And then next up are the black diamonds. Black diamonds mean that they're steeper and a lot of times do kind of have moguls or trees or kind of other obstacles you have to avoid. You think in three days I could be doing that. We'll see yet. So we gotta get some gear, yeah? Yeah, time to go get some gear. Okay. Getting boots and skis? Yes. Welcome to the snow. Am I gonna slide away? You're not gonna slide away. <laughs> Beginner skiers have a lot to learn, and a few common mistakes you'll see from beginning skiers is carrying their skis backwards or not really knowing how to walk in ski boots. In the ski community, we have a few different names for beginning skiers. Jerry and Joey are kind of like your generic terms when you can tell someone hasn't really been on the slopes before. Those are some things we'll teach Michelle how to overcome. I'm not sure I've seen anyone go from beginner to black diamond in three days, but if anyone's up for it, Michelle's the one. So try just turning around. Nice. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> feel like a clown. Yeah, so they're slippery. Just feel them underneath your feet, kind of sliding back and forth. Oh my god. <laughs> OK. I feel like we're doing some like clown jig. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> nice. This is so fun! <laughs> oh, yeah. gosh. Yep, straight on, straight on. Let it do the work for us. Now oh. you're just balancing and standing. <laughs> I like this a lot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Welcome to the top of your first little slope. Oh. <laughs> this is the fun part. We're gonna do a few J-turns. The reason we're gonna start with the J-turn is to kind of control our speed so we don't get going faster than we want. The hardest part about skiing is controlling your speed. The faster you go is when you feel out of control. So being able to learn to kind of carve across the hill is how you're gonna slow down. Awesome, nice work, ready? Yeah. Time for the chairlift. 
nice and slow. First day skiing, yeah. awesome. Here comes the chair and big promise. sit down. <laughs> There's no seat belts. <laughs> Hi from the chairlift. This is Michelle's first chairlift ride. Uh. How are you doing? <laughs> Look at the view, it's beautiful. Ready in three, two, one. Stand up, stand up, stand up. And drift away from the chair. Yeah! So eyes up nice and tall. Making a J turn here across the slope. Making that next turn. Here. Nice. Absolutely killing it. How do you feel out there? It was really, really fun. I'm really excited to keep progressing up. What I think is cool is all the things you learned today. At the beginning of the day, you didn't know anything. Go rest up, and we'll see you tomorrow. OK. Yeah. Woo! So it's the beginning of day two, and I'm definitely feeling it from yesterday. I don't know what I was thinking when I was like, let's make the goal going off a black diamond in three days. Because now I understand what that means and it's terrifying. Day number two is our make it or break it day. It's snowing, it's dumping, and it's difficult to see. We go up and we review a lot of the green slopes and I'm actually feeling pretty excited. Like, oh wow, maybe I can do this. I'm ready to go up further the mountain. I think we're ready to go ski our first blue run, Michelle. Watching you ski that last run, I think you're looking really good. It's definitely gonna be a little bit steeper and we'll just take it slow. We keep going up and I keep looking back and the town is getting smaller and smaller. And this is the run we're gonna ski now. No, I changed my mind. <laughs> I don't want to. Look at that! The hard part about skiing is making this first transition from these green runs to the blue runs. And with the snow conditions being a little choppier, I'm pretty nervous for Michelle. I'm having fun. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <sighs> okay, I can do this. Cool. I can do this. So, earlier today, Michelle. You've been skiing down here on this lift preview. Here, we've almost doubled, if not more, our distance up the mountain. Oh, God. Right up here. And we ski on over to the beginning of the blue slope, and it starts off OK. You ready to go ski? Yes. And then I can't see anything in front of us because it's snowing so much, and each section of 20 feet in front of us looks like it's a straight drop down. A little nervous? Yeah, it's cool. really steep. It's actually really scary. And I have to like calm my breathing and remind myself, it's okay, I can do this. There's one point when I truly feel like I was at the top of a roller coaster without a seatbelt on, hanging on for dear life. She's totally in control, but it's really funny because she's pausing and only during these pauses I can see that she's like almost shaking. You are so brave, Sophia. And it's not actually until I fall on the snow once. <sighs> that I feel better. Honestly, it was helpful to fall to feel how it doesn't hurt. Oh, nice, awesome job. I'm feeling a little bit better, a little bit more relaxed in the turns. And getting through, going from the very top of the mountain to the very bottom of the mountain is really, really special for me because I didn't think that I was going to be able to do it. You did it. Nice work. Woo! Day two. And then we end the day at the gym doing a workout written by Crystal Wright, who is Sophia's mentor. It's really cool to do a lot of exercises in the gym that directly relate to skiing because I can see, now that I've skied, how they correlate. Today is not about necessarily getting stronger. It's about finding balance, using similar muscles, but not taking too much out of our legs that we can't ski hard tomorrow. So you've been through a lot of injuries. Been through a lot of injuries. And how do you like mentally 
deal with that. More often than not, I've like been surprised that like taking time off has made me just feel much better. I felt like I had to justify that I was like training hard or like working hard and that if I was in pain, like if I took a day off that I like wasn't tough. This has been way more of a mental challenge for me than I anticipated. Looking down a very steep mountain and having to take control of it is a lot. There's so many times when I like let my mind get in the way of all the things I want to do and I don't want that to be the case tomorrow. Michelle, ready to see your black diamond run? Uh... Awesome, <laughs> right up there. It's gonna be sweet. I'm a little nervous. Today, it's sunny out, which is awesome, but that also means that the snow is very groomed, which means that we will be going faster than we did yesterday. I know a lot of people get injured skiing, and I really don't want that to happen to me. It's steep, it's challenging, but you totally got it. For me, it's really just that fear of like looking out and seeing how steep it is. What are some of the things that are helping us? What are our focuses? Breathing. Breathing is a good one. Michelle is used to being nervous, and it's really good at kind of controlling her nerves and staying focused, but I'm definitely nervous for her. It's steeper than anything we've done before. No. Oh, God. I just like froze, and I was so stressed out. So you're standing on top of your black diamond. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm nervous. <sighs> Michelle's standing up top, and I can tell that she's nervous. How do we control our speed? Turning. Where are our hands? Sure. Front. If we need to take some stops, we're gonna take some stops, okay? If I didn't think you could do this, I wouldn't let you do it. Ah! They are literally tobogganing a body down what we're about to go down. This is the worst way to start. <laughs> Here I go. Keep those hands up, hands up. Nice, Michelle. I started getting a rhythm a little bit and I felt like I was losing control of my ski, so I would stop and slow down. Yep, good job, good job. And then I kept going, going. Yep. And as we're coming around one corner, I lose control of one of my skis. I can't stop myself because it's so steep. I got you, I got you, I got you. Yep. <laughs> you're good, you're good, okay? Take a, take a deep breath here. Just sit for a sec. I'm pretty nervous that after the fall, Michelle is going to kind of shut down. You just did the hardest part. Everything down from here is gonna be a lot easier. Yeah. A lot easier. But she immediately just stands back up, takes a deep breath. I can do this. I'm gonna do it, Sophia. Yep. and finishing that run was just amazing, and I am so proud of you. I'm blown Thank away. Thank you. I feel really, really accomplished, not because it's like a black diamond, but because I was really scared. Really fun to watch her make it down, and I'm just so excited for her to accomplish this goal. Thank you so much to Greyhound for sponsoring this experience. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment below what crazy thing I should try next, and as always, please subscribe so we can keep on going on more adventures together. This is the best way to end the week.
Does it feel real? Like, do you feel like no. block that memory out? Or? No. Like, I look at the mountain from the base and I looked at, like, oh, there's the black time, and I can't believe that I did it.